Welcome back, friends and neighbors. Joining me tonight is an Emmy Award-winning journalist and author who hosts The Lead and State of the Union on CNN. Please welcome Jake Tapper. Hello, Jake. Thank you for joining us from the news chamber. What is That is a very... Are you in a, a, in a museum exhibit right now? <laughs> are you... So my, op my office is decorated with the, uh, with the posters of people who ran for president and lost and did not win and did not win. And so... This, uh, you might recognize this fellow who's a member of your church, Al of course, Smith. Al Smith, of course, yeah, of, of dinner fame. And uh, what else do we have here? Oh, I see the Hillary's. I got those. You got some Hillary's? John Ashbrook, for people who thought Richard Nixon was too liberal. <laughs> George Wallace. George, George Wallace. Wallace. Dixiecrat yeah. up there. There's a, there's a big Strom Thurmond over there that's a collector's edition, but it was, I felt so gross putting it up. I stuck a, a Stokely Carmichael on it just to f make sure people understood I'm not down with Strom. Um, are, let me ask you something about this office there. Is this your, is this your office at CNN or is this a home office? Yeah. This is your CNN no, this office? Is my, oh, have, my wife would never let me have any of this have stuff. Have you been home. allowed to go home this fall? Because <laughs> I know there was a five day period that any time I turned on the television, you were at the desk. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Did, how did you actually like sleep in your office or something? Like, how, did you go home at all for those five days? And have I you did, recovered? I I did go home, even if just like go home, everybody's asleep, wake up before everybody wakes up, which is weird, yeah. right? It's weird. Yeah. Um, I I'm still catching up with the sleep. I'm yeah. still catching up with it. Um, yeah. but I'm good. I'm like I'm 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 sure. fairly recovered. Did that? Did you guys have to lower John King into like an ice bath <laughs> at the end of every day? Because he never even sat down. You had a chair. John is actually uh, uh, an android, as you may or may not be familiar. Oh, no. We've, All the evidence is there. I just... we, we've constructed him. Uh, I mean, how do you think he works that machine mm -hmm. so well? Absolutely. No emotion. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, he finds it fun. Finds it fun. Beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. There have been four years of no sleep, though. You know, yeah. I, 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 I pointed out the other day that someone had put up a very, very lovely photo of you. And I said it was very nice of someone to put up your prom photo. It was when CNN won the week. And, and he said, yes, those four years have aged us. I want to point out, this is you. This is you in 2016, before all this Michigas. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> this is you today. Yeah. This is, okay. But before you, you get mad at me for, for pointing this out to a guest, this is me in 2016, okay? <laughs> This is me. <laughs> Two actual photographs of me. Jake. So can I say? Yeah. It, it, to, to outgoing President Trump's uh, credit, he, he looks the exact same. He looks the exact same. He's the only president in the history of this country who has not aged a day. It's just we all aged 30 years. Yes. We're, we're the picture of Dorian Gray. It's not supposed right. to work that way. Like, Do like um, Barack Obama... When he started, he was young. He was like a like a Will Smith. Yeah. And eight years later, Morgan Freeman. Yeah, but very distinguished. It happened. Very distinguished. It happened. Have you read his book yet? Have you read his book yet? No. Seven hundred and what? How much? Seven hundred and something pages. I loved it. It was great. Well, it was supposed to be a memoir, and now it's at least uh, going to be two volumes. My guess is it's going to end up being at least five. It's, it's like he's his own Robert Caro. <laughs> now you were you were you you, you you we're still in this weird limbo right now. Yeah. Where where we don't know what the guy who's leaving is going to do or how he's going to handle the prospect of leaving. What is that like you? Oh, for, know, what does that do to you, journalists who are actually having to report on what's happening? We do. We know how he's going to handle it. Um, in one sense, we know that it's going to be poorly. Mm -hmm. um, he's, he's not dealing with defeat well. Mm -hmm. He's not accepted it. So what is it like dealing with it? I mean, I just think like part of it is just explaining to people he lost. That's the reality. Mm -hmm. There is no legal path. All of these lawsuits, uh, with a couple of exceptions, are ridiculous. There's no way he's going to overturn enough votes in enough states it's just not going to happen. Do you have guests who come on and go, well, we'll see? No. You I don't? don't? Book, no, I don't book those guests. No. <laughs> not anymore? There are people, 
and I stopped booking just out and out liars a while ago. But I mean, uh, the, the uh, yeah, no, I mean, this is he. Joe Biden will be sworn in on January twentieth, yeah, two thousand twenty-one. Period. Well, we'll see. I just, we'll see. No, there's, <laughs> there's no we'll see. No, a lot of court cases. A lot of court cases out there, Jake. I looked into a bunch of them, you know. And oh, really? Like, they're nonsense. Like, it's honestly, it's like, because the standard of evidence uh, in a courtroom is a little higher than yeah. on Twitter. Sure. So when somebody says, we, you know, as Donald Trump says, we don't have any observers in that Philadelphia Convention Center counting room. And then somebody tries to present that in, in court. And the judge says, how many do you have? Uh, how many observers? And the lawyer sheepishly says, we have a, this is a quote, there's a non-zero number, a non-zero number of observers. So some. Yeah. And I believe the Still judge observer. then said, get the <laughs> out. <laughs> right, right. But Jake, I, I just want to remind you, I just want to remind you that Rudy Giuliani's in charge now. Rudy's yes. in the driver's seat now. Anything could happen. Law, That's law, true. Law, physical laws of the universe no longer apply if Rudy's going to take over this thing. I think anybody who watched the press conference at Four Seasons Total Landscaping, yeah. north of the Tony Palmyra Bridge, yeah, uh, right near the sex shop and across the street from the crematorium, right, where he presented his evidence, sure. which included somebody from New Jersey who was a registered sex offender, I think anybody who saw that would think, this is the Clarence Darrow of our time. We have to take a quick break, but when we come back, I will ask Jake about his conversation with Anthony Fauci about how this lack of transition is gonna slow down COVID preparedness. We'll be right back.